Oh, okay, let's, uh, 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 let's, 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 I'm being told that uh, we are true to Enugu, uh, uh, where we start, uh, where, you know, have, where we have a conversation with uh, the chairman of Rangers International, uh, uh, Mr. Davis uh, Omi. Hello, sir. Good, good afternoon. Yeah, my brother. Yes. Uh, uh, we, we are in this era of COVID. And then uh, uh, what do we, what, how, do we, how do we start this conversation? Probably by asking you, you know, uh, how your team, you and your team, uh, you know, are managing uh, uh, under this, under this uh, 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 unprecedented uh, you know, uh, period. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Samuel, for having me. Um, you know, at the, the start of the pandemic uh, uh, holidays, we give our players uh, a leave to go back to their respective homes to obey all the, the standards, you know, of uh, the COVID uh, processes. Now, um, they have their individual training uh, programs. And um, because of the social distance, you know, we cannot come together. So they are all still at their respective homes, but I believe they are uh, uh, taking care of their physical fitness, you know, in their own ways now. Okay, so for, 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 for now, they are still, they are, your, players, your players are still home? Yeah. They are still home. Okay, I, I, yeah. is there any way you are monitoring their fitness? Are you just, your, that is between your, your team and your, your coaches. Are they monitoring them, talking with them, and seeing yeah, what they, they are doing yeah, or they, giving they, them? The, the coach, the, before they left, for the, the coaches gave each player their training program for the, entire, for the duration of time it will last. Okay. They, each, each person has a training program, you know. And I, so far, so good. They have a WhatsApp group in the morning. They connect themselves while training and um, it's been very exciting, you know, although on individual basis, but it's been very exciting watching them doing their thing individually, you know. So that's, uh, that's how we can, we are coping with it for now. Okay, all right. Uh, let's, 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 let's go back a little bit. Uh, um, you, you, are, you, are, you are one, you are one uh, uh, Nigerian footballer. I won't, I won't call you ex-bola uh, who played the game, who played the game in the Nigerian league. Uh, and, uh, you know, in, and in, in your days, we, un, we understand how uh, you do well in your league and then you come back, you come to the national team. Uh, uh, the trend we are seeing these days is that we, most of our players are, you know, we, we, we make a bulk, the bulk of our players are coming from outside the shores of the country. I want to ask you this straight. Is, are we no longer producing that talent or are, we can't develop the talents so that from our clubs, our players can play in the national team? Um, well, um, uh, so if, I, if I talk in, in this interview, I will handle it uh, not as Rangers uh, general manager, uh, yes. but as a major stakeholder in football in Nigeria. Okay. And one is, the other one is political, but this, this is technical, it is factual. Okay? So I, I, I want to depoliticize my answers to this question. All right. see, in the time past, football was played by only those that, are, that were naturally gifted. See, football has transformed itself to a big commercial venture. So you have a lot of imposters, you know, masquerading as, you know, parading themselves as, uh, you know, uh, other football agents, class, left, right, and center. So, the, 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 that, that initial deal, that initial interest, you know, where you play football, enjoyment thick is no longer there. And the kind of passion with which we are playing, there was no money, you know, that we are playing because, one, we are naturally gifted and because we love the game. So you can see that the two, the two environmental epochs are different. Then we are playing because we love it. Playing because only the best, only the gifted ones can play. But now it's no longer so. A lot of political considerations have come into it. The installation of players, uh, whatever it is, a, a lot of you know uh, um, distortion has come into it in Nigeria, and the repercussion is what we are suffering today. Think back about uh, 1991, uh, 92. Those thereabouts. You see, a book of the Nigerian, the super egos was made, a lot of them from the home, about the Semitoji, you talk about uh, wow. uh, Ushe, 
Okafor, or you talk about uh, Benedict, uh, a lot of these players, we need the judge. West House took the responsibility of taking them primarily from the domestic league. It was when they started playing for national team that they started pushing them to different clubs abroad to get exactly. the necessary uh, exposure that they deserve. You remember, okay, there is still in before. Myself, Ida, Abdul Suley, we're all in the national team. We didn't travel out of the country. We are playing in Nigeria. But we're in the national team. But now, you can see that a lot of things have, like I said, political things have come into it. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, 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 you are, we are going to hold it here because we are going on a very short break. And when we come back, we shall resume this uh, conversation with you, sir. Okay, you're welcome back. It's a third channel spot on Sunday. And I, I, I want to confirm if we still have uh, uh, Chief Davidson Oumi uh, right there in Enugu. Hello, sir. I hope you are still there. Okay, uh, uh, we'll, we'll try. We'll try and uh, and connect back to Chief uh, Omi, the general manager, uh, the chairman. Sorry, the chairman of Rangers uh, International, and then see how this conversation uh, uh, goes. Okay, uh, before before we get back to uh, Enugu gentlemen, in Europe, a lot of things have been happening. Uh, uh, with we, we, yeah, <laughs> we, we, we saw the issue uh, in, in Belgium. I mean, there were, were a little bit of, of grumbling. Uh, uh, in 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 the Netherlands, the grumbling did not come from the Premier from the from from the uh, 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 It came from division from this uh, division where Campbell. Campbell, we're leading, we're, lead, we're leading with 11, 11 points. points yeah. And then you now say no relegation and no promotion. <laughs> and then they know, I mean, they've put in a lot of, I mean, they were thinking about investing and get, and get there. But now they now came to France. And then uh, uh, in France, <laughs> then that's okay, fine. We are giving the league title to PSG. And then. Initially, they said they were cancelled. Yes. So they need the. No, they cancelled. They cancelled. Yeah. Yeah. They cancelled. But they did not declare cha a, a champion initially. No, they yeah. have to look into the rules. Yes, they have to look at and that. They affected Lyon. They, 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 they affected Lyon. Yeah. Of course, yeah. they have a clause that if it, yeah. end, you know, if the league enter, end, ends abruptly. All right. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm being told now that uh, we are back. We are back to Enugu. Uh, 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 hello, Chibogu, you, 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 you're, you're still there? Yes, 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 yes. All right, okay. We, 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 we looked about, uh, we, we, we looked at uh, the, your, your, uh, the Oumi, the player, and then your peers that played football. And you talk about, yes, then uh, mostly those who play football are the ones who are naturally talented and it not like now as it is. But now let's come back. Uh, um, you also have the fortune of. Um, being an administrator in Rangers and also being an administrator, you know, uh, you know, a part of. In fact, you have also uh, administered and headed uh, uh, the Nigerian Professional League. But now let's come down to Rangers. Uh, you've been in Rangers almost. I mean, in, in decades now, you are synonymous with Rangers, just like we talk about great players in Bayern Munich and other places. Now, what have what? Uh, uh, first of all, two things I want to ask you here. Your players, the, 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 the issue of contractual obligations to your teams. I mean, are they professionally done with your club? And two, which is basically uh, what we are looking about as prof now that we are looking at this COVID-19, we are looking at where clubs are helping out in their various, various societies. If tomorrow, if tomorrow, uh, uh, the Rangers, go uh, the government of Enugu said, we are no longer going to put our money in Rangers. Can, can Rangers survive as a professional entity? Hello. Yeah, hello. Yes. Um, thank you, my brother. Uh, Rangers, as you know, um, we are having a dual um, um, status. One, Rangers is um, a part of the uh, Enugu State um, Rangers Management Corporation. It's a parasite. Okay. Hello. Yeah, go on. And yeah. Secondly, on the professional level, Rangers is Rangers International Football Club. It's a registered professional football club out of the corporation. You understand the status? So we yeah. have dual status. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, I, um, I, I, I have to spell it out here. That the exit that brought Rangers into being is um, a full analysis of what the club will look like. Right now, Enugu State government is Enugu State government is financing Rangers International. Okay. Okay, and we have a board. The chairman of Rangers International is 
eh, sectors. Eh, oh no, I'm not the chairman, I'm the MD. MD, okay, my, okay. Chief Executive Officer. Okay, you okay. Understand? The yeah. chairman of the board eh, is Mr. Festus Onu, oh eh, is the Jeez. chairman of the board of the Parastata. Okay. Okay? So the board is in charge of broad policy making. You understand? Yeah. And now, COVID, as it, as it is, every player in Rangers has, let me take it from the first thing, the contractual terms of players in Rangers. Yes, yes. Rangers, every contract in Rangers have an outstanding contract. They can change that to MD. They have the copy with the deposit one with the LMC and one is with the corporation. Why one is with the uh, association. So the, old, the entire players in Rangers are operating on their full contractual uh, 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 terms. This one, the complete. We are trying to, you see, uh, you would not be between being a parasitical and being a, 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 a limited liability company in the name of Rangers. Now, we've just, if you remember, about three months ago, we signed an agreement or a kind of, uh, yes, a contract with Lotto, an Italian uh, uh, kids' sponsorship uh, part with Lotto. And the idea is to make Rangers economically solvent, financially solvent, so that in case the government can no longer take care of the, the club on its own, through its merchandising uh, 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 revenues, can take care of the players for some time, until such a time that things will normalize. This is our vision. And unfortunately for this, uh, this COVID thing came in because they just brought the first confinement of those things down from Italy, that we can't distribute, we can't sell, we can't do anything. So it's like we are trapped. But at least a blueprint has been set to make sure that Rangers run on this phone at least for some time outside the government. If we have this sponsorship thing going or the partnership with Lotto, it means that we can take Rangers as a body can stand on its own for some time. That is that 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 that, that is cheering news. Uh, uh, then uh, uh, let us let us let me just take in the, uh, uh, in the another question. I want to ask you that in the, my, my guys in the uh, here have just uh, uh, said uh, uh, if, a few weeks ago uh, one of your players was involved uh, uh, in an accident and then uh, fortunately uh, uh, lost his life. Uh, the two of them, you know, uh, that they were there, but this one of them, you know, they was they were travelling with the other player. I mean, uh, uh, are your players insured? Yeah, thank you very much, uh, sir. This, uh, this is a very sensitive... Um... Hello? Go on, yes, go on. Hello? We are on. Yeah, this is a very sensitive uh, uh, issue. And I want it to be placed on record that Rangers International, when I assumed responsibility of the club 2017, we made a proposal to His Excellency, the Governor of Enugu State, the Executive Governor of Enugu State, Honorable Lifa Nguai, that, look, that we need to ensure our players and the officials because of this cross country and everything. And being an insurance man himself, he saw the, the, the usefulness of our proposal and immediately granted us the go ahead. 2017, 2018, Rangers, we insured our players with about 16 million or thereabouts. And nothing happened that year. 2018, 19 season, we paid the same premium. Nothing happened. Come 2020, this season, George was traveling for this COVID something. He had an accident, and unfortunately, he died on the way. Now, we needed to go back to our comprehensive insurance partner, that is the premier broker's insurance company. We wrote to them to say, look, man, this is it. It has happened. What do we do? And I can tell you in all sincerity that, hey, the company is that is that is we are almost ninety percent true with all the things, and at the end of the day, we are quite sure that the family they should be expecting nothing less than fifteen million on that boy. And why I'm, I'm not saying this, I'm saying this because player, apart from being a football administrator, I was once a football player in this country. Okay, I played football, so we should make it as a point of you know a a, a, a compulsory point to make sure that. Our players are, in, are insured. Why are players serving in Nigeria? Why is this, uh, every good player lives for the Republic, lives for Afghanistan? It's because the basic fund, I mean, fundamentals are not there. If players know that if they, have, if they sustain injury in Nigeria while playing, 
If it is a permanent injury, they know they have almost 10, 15 million to go with. It will bring out the best in the players. It will also give them the reassurance that at least people are catching for them. I think that this is our message from Rangers, that everybody should emulate what we are doing here. The governor approved, uh, approved the money for us. Yes, we can say no. Uh, approved 15 million. Let us go and do uh, one kind of uh, insurance from behind. Today, because we just die for nothing. But as I'm talking to you now. In the next few months, uh, after this COVID thing, my dear, we're going to make a presentation to the family. And that cannot uh, uh, account for the boy's life. But at least uh, it's a sucker to take care of his children, to take care of part of his family. So Rangers, as of today, I can tell you, has a comprehensive insurance for every player and official in the team. Uh, 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 we, keep on, we, we are at least uh, we, we're moving in that way. And then let me let me now ask you let me ask you this uh, as as it is. Uh, you've just talked about ensuring that the Rangers players are insured, and then I think that is also like with another sharing news to us that you know when you do that, you know that whatever accident you come across, that you know at the end of the day you or your family you know uh, will get some benefits you know out of it. Now. Initially, when the league started, and then we have the Uyuko Baseki board, you were part of, uh, you know, uh, you, you were close, you worked closely with Uyuko Baseki, and that is yes, the Nigerian yes, Premier yes, League. Yes, yes. And then right yes. now we have the MPFL. How many years down the road? What visions were you guys having? And then uh, uh, this, did, what is the difference between the MPFL and the MPL? Are you guys wrong? And are you the, the, the target you have set for yourself? Are you, has the MP, has the league gotten to that particular level in terms of, like I said, marketing, in terms of making the league self-sustainable instead of all these things? I mean that, that that we have. What was your vision, and what are we having now? Uh, I do not know. This is very. Hello. God. Hello. Hello. You are free. You are, you are on. You are on. You are still. You are still clear. Okay. You are loud yeah. and clear. Uh, uh, this is a very technical question, but um, you said it. I yes, I worked closely with Chief Oyinke uh, as the chairman of the league, and um, the new project of uh, the league started in 2006. Okay, and uh, where the clubs decided that look, they have to take their destiny in their own hands, um, get sponsors, you know make the league at least more profitable and um, and accounting uh, uh, for all shades of uh, people. Uh, hello? Yeah, you are on, yes. yes you are, we are hearing it loud and clear. Okay. Now, um, without... Um, I, I'm talking... I, I'm talking as old oh, me now, like I told you. I'm not talking as chairman of, Ninja, of uh, Rangers. Okay? Yeah. Now, under Oyuki, uh, there is no... There is no, no man is paragon of knowledge. You, you take certain decisions, but the, 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 what matters is the pureness, the, is the pureness of your intent. That's what matters in life. The late Oyuki Obaseki of blessed memory was a, a man that had the interest of Nigerian football at his heart. Okay? And he went about it with so much zeal, with so much passion, that even the, 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 the business world had no, no other option than to respond positively to that, 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 that passion from Onyuka Baseke. And the league went from no money to 960 million for title sponsorship. And that you are aware of, okay, uh, for broadcast rights. We also had other things then. Now, come 2010, I was voted in as the chairman of uh, the league. And uh, the first thing I did was to say, okay, um, everybody prays that the, the son will, be be will do better than the father. Is that, is that not so? I looked at the roadmap of Onyuki Obaseki. I said, okay, we have to better certain things he has done. We threw open the title, I mean, yeah, the, the, the title sponsorship. We took it open, advertised all over the country. And by the special grace of God, we, won, we got an award of $3 billion for the league. Are you there, Shonathan? Of course, we are here. We got a contract of $3 billion signed, contract signed, sealed. That is for only, only, only uh, what do you call it, only uh, uh, title sponsorship. 
Now the broadcast right. There were some seeming problems, you know, left, right, and center. And I said, okay, the, uh, my board now said, keep this thing. Let us finish one. You don't you push too many fights at the time. Let's take this title sponsorship thing. When we finish, we now come and tune for the, the, the broadcast right. Which means, as at that time, the league, only the title sponsorship was $3 billion. And broadcast rights was somewhere around one point something million dollars then. We had it. Uh, uh, you know what? The top to you know what happened, you know, and the, the everything turned over upside down. Ten years after, that was in 2010, they canceled the, the three billion, they did what was the, the normal Nigerian factor. Ten years after, we are in a new dispensation. Okay? And now, even because of environmental factors, I do not know. But as it stands, the no title sponsors, the league has no broadcast rights sponsors, we don't have anything. And it might be, it may be due to the circumstances surrounding uh, the entire football structure in Nigeria, that this is not where we should be. This is not where we should be. And I think that it is right time that everybody must, all hands must be on deck. To make sure we come out of this thing we are in, this is not the best for Nigerian football. That Nigerian, we are not on television, we don't have uh, uh, title sponsorship, we don't have... Uh, but, I mean, it is not where Nigerian football should be in 2020. But I think to get it right, all arms must be on deck. We don't need to throw stones left, right and center. All arms must be on deck to say that, look, oh, please, let us get this thing right. Let us... It's not me against you or them against us. No. We have to leave all this politicking around. Come back to the normal thing and say, look, the truth, the truth. Look, say, thou shalt know the truth, and the truth will set you free. What is it that we are not doing rightly? Why is it that honorary Tanzania can get sponsors when Nigerian football cannot get sponsors? Why? What is responsible? These are issues that must be tabled, and we will find a solution to the government must also put his, uh, uh, what's coming to it. It is not one man's study. It should not be left alone for the LMC. There might be one or two problems that they are facing. You understand? That has to do with all those court cases, uh, problems, things like that. Uh, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I think that is where we have to leave this conversation. Uh, uh, it's been a pleasure speaking with you, and I know when, when we call on you again, we shall have you on the show. Thank you very much, my dear. All thank right. You. Thanks for having me. Okay, my dear. Great conversation. Yeah. I mean, um, we can see some with with somehow some in terms, terms of, of what, what is done, done with Rangers. Uh, he's really yeah. done a lot in, in terms, terms of um, enhancing marketability. marketability. Because, for example, he's talked about corporate sponsorship and coming that way, something that will be unveiled, from unveiled you know, pretty soon. Um, and I also like the fact that he's really admitted the fact that the vision that they had when they were running the league is quite different from what's obtainable right now. And that there's no need for buck passing. It's not about me against you, you against me. It's about getting it right. Totally. Because, because at the end of the day, day our football is in the doldrums. We can continue to deceive ourselves and say maybe because we have monumental, uh, sorry, uh, momentous gains, then maybe we are in a good place. We are not in a good place. And I think from everything he said, we can see clearly that yes, we want the best for our football. But if we are going in the right direction, I doubt it. And he's come out to say it, and I'm happy he said it himself. I've always maintained if you are willing to make changes, and you're willing to leave a legacy as an administrator in this, com in this country, you'll get things done. I'm impressed with the insurance policy for the Rangers players. Definitely. It shows that there is hope in this country that some people are fighting to get things done in the right way and in the right manner. Hearing that, it's enough for me today. Even if that's all we discuss on this show <laughs> today, today. I, I, I'm a fulfilled man leaving this set today. As, as that that player is going club. to be compensated. His family is going to be compensated. As a traditional club, yeah. I think it's very commendable. And I also remember that when we had the issue of the player that died, you know, the medical issue, yeah. um, the team manager, um, Amelby, yes. Ch Chilabet Amelby, actually did say that, look, 
This is some of the things that we had been saying. This is something Rangers practice. So if a traditional club like Rangers practice some of these things that we want to see around our football, in terms of contractuals, in terms of player welfare, because, because he said that all, his, all their players have their contracts. In, I mean, yeah, you, you, you know, yes. so, so what, what that means is in terms of club licensing, they will not find themselves wanting. So this is something they are doing in the right direction. They might not be getting it totally. You might say, oh, you, you, it's a good step in the right because direction. Because I want to see, actually, I, like, 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 he, like he said, uh, 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 I, 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 we saw the sincerity in, his, in, in him and what he's saying. But that, like, like I said, uh, uh, this is not, this is the, Rangers is a professional football team. Rangers, Rangers has tradition, just like talking about shooting stars, talking about you know, uh, the uh, Abiku stores that goes up and down. <laughs> Why did you get that? <laughs> no, stores is a, a, you know, a, a, a club that can capitalize on the goodwill of... Stores was run by people six, six pence. It's shocking they, how we are They here. were paying six pence, people were paying money. You know, Ken, the first time in Nigeria Ken that the people is, were is shocking running how the we are club. Here. Are you getting me? So, today? so, so, so stationary stores? Shooting stars were the first Nigerian team to win the Continental Trophy. They won the Cup Women's Cup. They won the CAF Cup. The first CAF Cup, the Rebbe, Moshu Dabiola, Moshu Dabiola, whatever it is. So these are clubs that have like, selling points. Like you said, Stationary Stores is actually the club with the biggest fan base in Africa when populated together. We saw what happened in 2014. The chairman of LMC, Undu Karaba, was like, wow. This is an NL, um, NNL game. Shooting Stars and um, stores, stationary stores at Oniko. He came right there and he told the press, look, this is the beginning of the right things for Nigerian football. It didn't happen. Where was that? But the NNL. No, 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 you call, you call the year, you call the year. You say which year? 2014. 2014. That is six years ago. Six years ago. And now we are, we are, we are still, we are still, and we are still, 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 it's for us to have a sit out, sit around, and understand that we need to solve these problems. Now we have the problem of uh, broadcast. It's absent. What do we do about it? We have the problems of medicals. We have the problems of sports integrity. See, so if, these are the problems Jimmy, that we need to look yeah, at before Jimmy, we even get into the next Jimmy, season. If Nigerian football will move forward, they all have to come together in a round table. Decide to put away their personal interests. That is what, but that, 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 that is very key. There, there is a key in what he said. I, I, I think mm. picks up that when he said, it is not you, a question of you, you are against you. Yes. 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 Look, when you see people at opposition, yes. when you see those who are criticizing constructively, constructively and yeah. you say, these guys will never see something good in good us, in, yeah. when you see people who are, who are already pressing you, these are your guys, that is where we are here. I, I, I've seen I, it happen. I, I don't know. You, I don't you, know. You've seen that uh, the I, highest level of uh, pre singing yeah. had been when the LMC was seen as doing very well. But some way, somehow, we can see that we are now back to the table. We now understand. We are that worse. We are worse than, than where the table went over. The, exactly. No, no, no. Let's but, call it a spade a spade. Okay. But Ken, so we're talking. So he gave he gave figures, and these are these, these are things that you can check. Yeah. He said one point one over one million dollars in broadcast. broadcast he yeah. said over three, three billion, billion in title sponsorship. sponsorship. He said they moved from nine to nine hundred and fifty million. I mean, these are facts that we can look at. Now the same league. The same uh, uh, structure, the same team. Zero. Um, so why do we go back to zero level? Something is wrong. No, you see, the fault is in our <laughs> stars, not in ours. We're going to take a very short break. And when we come back, we shall open the lights. And Channel Sport on Sunday continues. Stay with us.